Hey friends! So today is a peachy kind of day. I have a little theme going today and it's peach and peaches. Just last week I picked a bunch of peaches from my mom's peach tree. She got 600 peaches last year and this year she got about 200 peaches from her tree and it's because the squirrels went crazy. She had a family of squirrels living there that were just gorging themselves on peaches. So what I have in store for today is I'm gonna make a little something with my peaches. I'm gonna show you a clip of my mom's peach tree and me picking peaches from it. And right now, actually, what I'd like to do is do a little pampering. I have two things. I have a hair mask from Hass, and this is a rose oil and peach hair mask. It's a color protection deep conditioner. And I actually just got my hair cut this morning. My mom cut my hair it's quite a bit shorter and I love it. It's been so hot lately and it's nice to have nice and short hair and it feels freshly trimmed. I also did my roots and it's in the need for some deep conditioning. So I'm gonna put that on right now. And then I'm also going to put a peach face mask on. So I'll look pretty crazy, but this is an I'm Peach mask sheet. I think I got this one from Ulta and this will feel really nice. You'll keep this on for about 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put my hair mask on, my face mask on, wait about 30 minutes, then I'll put my makeup on and come back and I'll do my hair. And I have a really cool little peach hair bow. Just so you know, I wear hair bows all the time with pixie cuts. I think they're so cute. They're not just for little kids. And I think they look really cute on pixie cuts. So I'm gonna put this on, I think probably somewhere right here and just do my hair and blow dry it after my hair mask. So I will start with the hair mask. And just to kind of tell you what's on this package. Oh, it smells just like peaches. It smells wonderful. It says, this is free of sulfates, parabens, phthalates, gluten, and drying alcohol. It says, don't let color fade away. Perfect it with this nourishing blend of organic rose oil and juicy peach to help replenish moisture and restore radiance. Helps to strengthen strands, smooth frizz, boost shine to maintain vibrant color. So especially if you color your hair, you really need to do some deep conditioning. I'm gonna just put this on right, cause my hair is still wet. You'd obviously want to uh, have your hair wet first, but I'm just gonna completely coat my hair. I'm gonna use this whole package because I need a deep conditioning for my hair today. It's super thick. I totally need this today. So I'm gonna get the rest of this. Ooh, I just lost a bunch of it on the ground. Nobody noticed, except you guys. Okay, I'm really gonna dig into the roots here and make sure this is gonna give me a really nice, nicely conditioned hair. Okay, we'll just let that simmer. And I'm gonna put my face mask on. So this is a vitalizing unpeach mask sheet. I'm gonna take this off. Have you guys ever gotten a face mask sheet before? They're super fun. They're easy to put on. This one's extremely wet. So I'm gonna open this up. It also smells like peaches, which I love the smell of peaches. Love it. I'm gonna look a little crazy when I get this on. But you basically just kind of paste it on your face like this. All right, hopefully no one's taking a snapshot of this because I'm looking pretty scary. All right, so I'm gonna let both of these soak. I'm gonna rinse my hair out, put my makeup on, but I want you to watch this next clip of me at the peach tree. I'll be back. So I'm at my mom's today. I'm picking peaches at this awesome peach tree. This is how many we got today. And we're almost done picking on this tree. So last year we got about 600 peaches from this tree. This year, probably another 600, but the squirrels went crazy. They had a heyday on this tree. They probably ate or destroyed two or 300 peaches. And so we're probably only getting about 200 peaches from this tree, which is still a nice amount for what we need. My mom makes jam and we eat a lot of fresh peaches during July and August. So we are excited to eat these peaches. We've been eating peaches for about two weeks now. So I'm going to show you these peaches up here. You see they have little bags on them. That's to prevent bugs and hopefully to prevent the squirrels from eating them. But they have gotten smarter over time. And so what they'll do is they'll actually take a bite on the outside of these bags and they'll suck the juice out. So 
they have been an annoyance this year. So I'm gonna take this bag off. You can see the peach under there. And I'm gonna pick this. Now it's still a little bit hard, but it'll just take a day or two for it to soften up and be perfectly ripe. These are Alberta peaches and they're absolutely delicious. They're sweet, they're tart, and they're juicy. So if you're looking to plant a peach tree, Alberta peaches are the way to go. Okay, I am going to take these fresh peaches I have and make a peach smoothie, actually a peach and strawberry smoothie. Um, I probably don't have every ingredient that I'd like to have, like I'd usually like to have some kind of yogurt on hand, but we haven't gone shopping this week yet. So I'm just gonna use what I have, which is fresh peaches, some frozen strawberries, or you could use fresh strawberries, some ice and a little bit of milk. You could also use soy milk. There's nothing better than a fresh homegrown peach. These are Alberta peaches. Okay, I'm gonna put these in my blender here. Add some strawberries. Bananas would be good to add as well. I actually really like having these frozen strawberries on hand. Not only do I like to eat it, just straight out of the container. I also like to use them for smoothies. And they have sugar in them. It's like there's added sugar. So that'll make the smoothie sweet. Okay, gonna add a little bit of milk here. And I'm gonna blend it up. Let's give this a try. It's absolutely wonderful. So yes, this is a great little recipe. All it is is peaches, strawberries, and a little bit of milk and ice. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I am back. My hair feels wonderful. My face feels nice and clean. I got some makeup on. And now I'm gonna do really just a quick blow dry. And I will probably put a few little curls in the top. My hair is obviously a bunch shorter, so I'm not gonna have as much to work with here, but I wanna kinda make it cute for putting the bow in. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. This is one of my favorite tools. This is a Callista Perfector Pro, and it's basically a curling iron that is really good for short hair. Now, I actually did a review of this, and I've used it several times in my videos, so I'll link my review up above, but I love this tool. But I told my mom about it, and I was like, you've got to try this tool because it's so awesome. And she had long, really fine hair and her hair got tangled up in it. So I don't think this is a great tool for long hair. She, she was freaking out because she had to unplug it and it was stuck and she was worried her hair was gonna burn off. So I would suggest if you use this, make sure you have short hair. <laughs> but it is a wonderful tool for short hair in my opinion. I'm just letting it heat up here. It's at 375, but it's really nice to just to put a few curls in and to get ready for the day. It's so, so, so easy to use. So we will just take another sip of this peach smoothie. I think peaches and strawberries go so well together. This is a beautiful smoothie and it's delicious. The only thing that probably would have made this a little bit better was a Greek yogurt would have been perfect to add to this or maybe even a banana if you like the flavor of banana in your smoothies. Okay, this is pretty much ready to go here. I'm gonna just put a few curls in the top and I'd like to put the bow over here. So let's just try this out a little bit without any style. So what I'd like to do is something like that. We could go a little bit lower down. Mm, not liking that. That's actually a good height. You just have to look and see how it falls on your head, really. But just to make this more exciting, I'm gonna get some curls in here. You 
pretty much just need to turn it like this, put the hair in and kind of twist the handle a little bit and then let the hair stay on there until, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds. Maybe 10 seconds is a little too long. Several seconds. And see, just went in right there. I told my mom to cut my hair super short today because I don't know what's been going on but my hair has been growing like a weed lately and I do really like this length. I do like it longer too so I think the benefit of getting your hair shorter is you get to enjoy all the different lengths that you like between the time you get your hair cut and the time that it's ready to get a haircut again. All right, so now that my curls are in, I'm going to use my new grit paste. I've been using this for a couple weeks now. This is Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Professional Styling Grit Paste. And it looks like that. Last time I used this in last week's video, I got a little too much, so I don't want to get too much. This time I'm just getting a little dot on my finger. I think I'm ready to set the bow. What do you guys think? Is it too high? I think that's a good location on my head. So let me show you how this turned out. So here's the right side. Anyway, I really had fun today talking about peaches and peach products. Just as a summary, I showed you picking peaches at my mom's house. I made a peach smoothie. I put a peach hair mask on and a peach face mask on, wearing a peach colored shirt and enjoying a wonderful peach smoothie at the end of this. And I'm gonna really enjoy drinking the rest of this. These things had five smallish peaches in them. And so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my afternoon, sip on my peach smoothie and have a good rest of the weekend. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Of course, you'll be watching this a week after I film it, but I hope you guys are all doing well and, and staying healthy and, and safe. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you. If you wanna know when my videos do hit YouTube, they hit every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And if you hit that notification bell, it will let you know when my videos do show up on YouTube. So have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you next time.